So you're welcome to another section of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. Um, this tutorial is going to focus on reviewing literature um, in just some couple of minutes. That is, we have literature review in five minutes. And we are going to use um, prompt engineering, artificial intelligence prompt engineering with bad AI. So bad AI, bad artificial intelligence is a tool from Google. And then um, we are going to use this application or this tool to review literature in just some few minutes. Actually, um, what this tutorial is going to cover is how you can get quick insights in um, some articles that uh, you are reviewing. But uh, there's, there's disclaimer in using these artificial intelligence tools for academic research. Now, the disclaimer is saying that uh, while AI tools, while AI tools can be valuable, is in academic research. It is crucial for researchers to exercise critical thinking, conduct independent verification, and consult with academic advisors or subject matter experts to ensure the appropriate and responsible use of AI tools in their scholarly endeavors. So what we are trying to say is um, whatever demo or illustration that we are going to do in this video, as you practice along or as you go by what we are doing, we are not expecting you to copy everything that is the result that you have from the AI application and just dump it into your web file. No, that is not what we are saying. We just want you to get insight, a quick insight from um, whatever research that you are trying to do. Um, so the result that will come out from this AI application, we are saying that um, you have to move a step ahead. You have to do more checks um, by critically thinking about the result and also um, you have to conduct independent verification. So um, let's say you have the results, you have to sit back again, um, try to Google more about that information or try to use a um, research database to spool out this or to download these articles that will come out from this artificial intelligence tool so that you can open these articles go deeper into it and review it very well. And we also we are also saying that um, if possible, consult with academic advisors uh, or subject matter experts to in whatever that you are doing, okay? So we really understand that these AI tools are much valuable is in academic research, but we are not encouraging researchers, students um, to download, uh, to copy, responses from this uh, artificial intelligence tool without not examining it deep or without not um, doing more works around the response or the results. Okay, so we quickly move to a demo. Um, you can practice along. We are going to use bad AI to do that. So we move to our demo. So this is, um, there's a web file over here. This is what we are going to use. Um, for our prompt engineering. Actually, the first, these three things that you see are um, the prompt engineering approach with respect to these artificial intelligence tools. So if you want to prompt engineer any artificial intelligence tool, being it chat GPT, being it uh, Bing AI, being it uh, bad AI, or any other application, any other AI application, you have to, we have the basic, you see. Actually, it's how you are going to prompt engineer this application that gives you the best results or the response that you are looking out for. So the basic one is the RTF, that is the rule, the tax, and the format. It means that you have to um, script or come up with a, with a prompt that actually will help the AI application knows its rule and will also help the AI application knows um, the task that is supposed to perform and also um, your response, how do you want your response to look like um, that deals with a format. If you want a format to come like a list um, point, that is a bulleted point. If you want your, uh, your response to come out like a paragraph, um, that is what we have right here. This is just the basic. Now we have the, an, uh, from the basic, we have the CTF that is a intermediary. Um, so uh, a little bit uh, advanced from the basic one. Uh, so we have the CTF, you have to give the context, you have to give the tax, and also you have to give the format. All these things are prompt that will help the artificial intelligence to, to come up with the best um, answer or the response that you, you want. 
All right. So this is the advanced, advanced, advanced stage. So we have the basic stage. Um, from the basic, you have this, uh, that is the CTF intermediate. Um, then we also we have the RASCEF, that is the advanced stage. Um, I normally call it the RASF. The RASF contains the rule, the action. Um, so you have to let the AI application know each rules and also the action that is supposed to perform. We also have uh, the steps um, in performing the action. You can, um, the AI app application can come out with um, the steps that uh, it took in performing that particular action. You also have the context. You can decide whether your response should come out with some examples. And also finally, you have to tell the AI application that uh, I want my response to come out in this format. So it's like uh, be specific, whatever you are doing with these AI application tools, okay? Now this tutorial is not going to cover uh, prompt engineering in the details, uh, focusing on these three things, no. But rather we are just going to do a demo. <clears throat> Sorry, we are just going to do a demo, how you can use a uh, prompt engineering to achieve the best result from these artificial intelligence tools. So we are going to do a quick research about this particular topic the influence of social media on mental health. That is um, that is what we are going to do. We are just going to gather some information, a quick uh, approach to gather information around this uh, topic, the influence of social media on mental health. So we are going to ask BAD to do this uh, task for us. So I have my BAD application over here. If you really want to go to BAD, you just Google it. So go to Google, you type BAD AI, and it brings you to this interface. Okay, sure. Now, what we are going to do is step one. We are going to ask BAD to find the best academic sources. Um, the best academic sources is going to be based on the influence of social media and mental health. Once we ask BAD to do that, BAD will give us a list of important articles that are really helpful and new. So we don't need to spend a lot of time searching for these articles. Sure. So bad AI is actually um, operating on GPT-4. It's kind of going to give you um, current information because it always um, generates its responses uh, based on what is on the internet. So it updates itself. That is a GPT-4. Sure. Now, um, this, is, this will be the prompt for our first step. We are saying that I am writing a research paper on the influence of social media on mental health. Now, BAD, what should BAD do? BAD, give me a list of five relevant academic sources from the last seven years with the titles and dates. So we copy this. Now we go to our BAD application, then we paste this. So we are waiting for the prompt to generate. All right, so, so that's what we have over there. The impact of social media on mental health, a systematic review that is uh, 2020. We have this, um, these are the authors, all right? So we have social media use and its connection to mental health, a systematic review 2021, the relationship between social media use and mental health among adolescents, a meta analysis 2022, social media use and mental health, a review of the literature 2023, the impact of social media on mental health, a qualitative review 2023 by these authors. All right. So you can just uh, Google it and uh, you can also um, copy this information, paste it uh, into Google Scholar or normal Google to get the article. So you can get these articles um, straightforward. Yes. Yeah, so you can search for these articles uh, by Googling it and you can download them and you can critically examine these articles by way of reading these articles. So it's just a quick way of uh, getting information about the research that you really want to do. Now, let's move to the next stage. So these are the articles that we have gotten from BAR. So we just want BAR to continue to perform some tasks, okay? So we move to our next prompt um, because we are doing a research uh, concerning the influence of social media on mental health. Now, step two is saying that um, ask BAD to give you a quick summary of the important information in the article. So we want BAD to actually give us some 
critical information, important information from the articles that it just generated for us. Yes, so we need some important information from this. Okay. Now, when we do that, uh, BAD will tell us the most important things they found in the articles so you can understand them better. Now, this is going to be our prompt. Generate a summary for each of the above sources. Each summary should contain a sentence with the main findings along with five additional bullet points. So now the bullet point that you see over here um, talks about the format, how I want my response uh, to be. So I copy this particular prompt. Now I go to bad, I paste it. So um, our focus here is to just get a summary and from what we have in there. So we are generating a summary for each of the above sources and the above sources is what we have over here. So always um, when you are engineering your AI application, let's be specific because uh, we are not just uh, generating a summary based on any other thing. So we are saying that the AI application should focus on the above sources and the above sources is the information that we have, prior information, the previous information that we have over here. That's what the artificial intelligence tool is going to generate a summary based on that. So be specific. All right, now sure, here are summaries of five academic sources I mentioned about. So we have the main findings from this particular article. Then we have additional findings. We have this one. We have the main findings, additional findings. We have this article. We have the main findings. We have the additional findings. We have social media use, that is the third article. We have the main findings, additional findings, and we also have the main findings for this one. And we have the additional findings. Or um, it's like in a summary form, in a summary form. And the, uh, the response uh, came in a form of what? A bulleted what? List. Okay, sure. Now um, you can look at this uh, information and you have to critical examine whatever response that you are seeing over here. It's like a quick guide that will help you to know what you are, um, what you really want to achieve. Now, let's move on to our next prompt. Uh, we want to move deeper into what we are doing. We are saying that step three, let's but find important ideas that are the same in all the articles. Yes, yeah, so we want to know some of these, uh, some information that um, we can see in all the articles, that is the five articles, which are very, very, very important. And these are important ideas. Now, when we do that, uh, BAD is going to help us to see the things that the articles have in common and also suggest ways to make them fit with what we want to write about. And this is the prompt. We are saying that, hey, BAD, do you know the next thing to do? Ah, okay. You are supposed to look for similar things in the articles. Now, find patterns or ideas that are the same in all of them. Then use those ideas to create a strong and interesting argument for your paper. So Bart is trying to come out with a paper for us. So we just um, tell him Bart to do this um, for the paper that is trying to generate for us. So we move to Bart again. So we want a similar things in the articles. Um, and after we also tell him Bart to find patterns or ideas um, that's are the same in all of them. Okay, all right. Now, after this uh, information, Bar should use those ideas to create a strong and interesting argument for the paper that is trying to generate. And the paper is based on this, uh, our initial, this is the influence of social media on mental health. So what do we have over here? Um, That is, okay, so similar things in the article. So social media use is associated with increased rates of so these are some of the things that seems to be common in all the articles. And we have some summary over here. We also have here yeah, some specific examples of how social media can have negative impact on mental health. We also have some information over here, some information over here. These are just quick guides, some uh, quick information to help you understand um, exactly what you want to achieve at the end of your research work, okay? Now you move on to the next one. That is the first stage. Uh, we are saying that um, Bart should help us again over here. Ask Bart to help you make a plan for your paper. So in every paper, there's a plan. Yes, you have to uh, arrange your paper very well. Now we are saying that um, if you ask Bart to help us to make a plan for our paper, this is what Bart is going to do. Bart will organize your ideas, that the ideas that are generated above 
so it makes sense and are easy to understand. It will be like building a clear and logical structure for your paper. And this is the prompt. Now, create a detailed outline for a research paper based on the above thesis and what and resources um, or the above uh, articles or whatever. So we are creating a detailed outline for a research paper based on the above thesis and resource that is you can see the above articles and resources generated the outline should have an introduction three main body paragraphs and also a conclusion so based on the responses that we have generated them um, we are telling bad to come out with some specifics it's like restructuring our paper we need a three body three main body paragraph and paragraphs and also a conclusion so we have something like this so body paragraph one body paragraph two, body paragraph three, and also have um, introduction over here and also have some conclusion over here. Actually, it's just giving you an insight into what um, uh, you can do when you start with your paper or the thesis that you are writing or the research that you want to do. So we are still stressing on the fact that you don't need to copy the information over here and just dump it into your word file. No, you are supposed to read what you have over here so that it broadens your knowledge and um, it drives you in achieving the best from your research that you want to do. So it's just a quick guide for you, actually, but not to copy everything that you have over here. Okay, so we have a conclusion over here. And now our first, our final stage, actually, that is the step five. We are saying that let BAD help you write the first draft of your paper. Now, if you want BAD to do that, but it's going to help us in this way. But we'll take your outline and turn it into a well-written paper that flows smoothly and supports your main idea. It's like turning your ideas into a great story. And this is the prompt. Now we are saying that fill in the outline you made earlier to create a paper that makes sense and follows a logical order. Make sure to put your main idea, that is the thesis statement, the main idea. This is our main idea, right? The influence of social media on mental health. This is our main idea. And we are telling Bad that, hey, Bad, make sure to put your main idea just at the top there, the thesis statement, as the last sentence in the introduction. So the response that Bad is going to generate, we want to see the main idea that is a uh, social media on mental health as part of our, the last statement that will be generated in the introduction. This should be part. Okay, so we copy this. Um, so whatever we are doing over here is a follow-up. It's a follow-up, yeah. And you have to let the application, the artificial intelligence to know that the, your prompt is a follow-up uh, from the previous um, response that it has generated. Okay, sure. So we just click on this and see what we have over here. Okay, all right, so that's what we have over here. So we have um, introduction and we have body paragraph, uh, two, three, then we have some conclusion. This is just basic for you to go by it. And we have the T statement over here. Now, social media can have a negative impact on mental health, actually. So um, whatever the introduction is, we should have social media, mental health in there that is what it uh, that is what uh, was queried okay so we are saying that uh, there is a green evidence that it can also have a negative impact on what mental health so at least um we have something over here that is actually focusing on social media on mental health as part of what our introduction and uh, we are seeing this because we have this over here your main idea, TG statement, and the last sentence in the introduction, okay? All right, so this is just um, artificial intelligence prompt engineering from academic research or reviewing what literature, what about AI. All right, thank you very much for watching this section of it, you like tutorial series. Um, once again, after watching this video, remember to subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of videos for you guys, okay? Thank you.